In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how to calculate straight and curved lines on an ordnance survey map. So the first calculation we're going to make is of a straight line, okay? So if you have two points, so we have this point here and we have this point here, okay? And you're asked to calculate the distance from this point here to this point here. Okay, so it's not like it's a, it's a river that you got to calculate that's, that's, round, that's, that's windy or it's not a road or a motorway. It's just a straight line curve, so from one point to the other point. How you calculate it is, you get your ruler, you place your ruler on one point, and you go all the way over with your ruler to the other point. Measure the distance in centimetres from one point to the other point. Then what you do is you take your ruler down here, and you put your ruler along the scale, okay? And it says here that for every, from that point to that point, every two centimetres is one kilometre. So if you go from there to here, then it will be 1.9 kilometres, okay? It would be two kilometres if it was from that point, if, if that little red dot went started here at the, and it went all the way to this point, okay? But instead, it doesn't, it goes from here to here, okay? So we've got a little bit left. Got this bit, this area here is left, okay? And that's the other 0 0.1 of a kilometre. So from there all the way to there is 1.9 kilometres. So now we know that the distance from this point to this point is 1.9 kilometres. So the next one is measuring um, a curve line, okay? And a curve line is, is going to look like, like this, okay? It's going to have a curve in it. And this might be when you're asked to measure the distance of a river or the distance of a road, okay? And it's different to a straight line. A straight line, you just go from one point, one point to the other point with your ruler and you calculate it. But this time, you can't do that. You've got to actually measure the curve. Because if I just went from here to here, that wouldn't be the true length of and distance of the actual road because the road goes around like this way. So what do you do? Well, you place a piece of paper along the road and mark on it the starting point, okay? Just like we've done here. And you start that point right at the start of your road or your river or whatever the, the curve line that you're calculating. Each time the road changes its bend, you need to make a little mark, just like as we've done here, okay? So we we'll start off here with the little mark, and then we we'll make another mark here. We've got to make a mark there because it's going to change. Uh, the road is, is starting to bend, or the river. And each time it changes, you change down the piece of paper, just like here. And then we'll get our, our pen, or a pencil. Oh, sorry. And we'll mark it here. Now it's going to change again, so we go over here, and I'm going to mark on our piece of paper, and about that. And we do that the whole way through until we are finished marking the curve line. When we've reached the end, what we do is we take the piece of paper, so we take the piece of paper, that's all, it will be all full out with the dots, it'll have the starting point, and right at the end, it'll probably have like its end point. So say this is the end point and this is the start point, okay? And what we do then is we put that piece of paper on the linear scale, and that will tell us how long in kilometers the road or the the river or whatever curve line we are measuring. So one of the other skills you may, you will probably be asked to do in the junior certificate examination is calculate the area of a map. Okay, so there's a few calculations you can do. You can calculate the area of the map, or you can calculate just an area on the map. I'm going to show you how to do both now. So the first one is calculating the area of the map. Well, it's really really simple. All you have to do is you add up all the boxes uh, for the width and for the length. So, we have, um, along the bottom, we've got one, two, three, and four. So we've got four kilometers um, along the bottom. So four kilometers along the bottom. And along the top, we have, along the length, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five kilometers, okay? So all we gotta do is we gotta go five by four 
and that gives us 20 kilometers squared. So the next one we're going to look at is calculating the area of odd shapes. Okay, So if you're asked to calculate the area of, say, this Pula Fuca's reservoir, how do you do it? Because you can't just add up um, the length and the width and, in kilometers and then multiply it because that wouldn't give you a true uh, reflection of the of the area of the, of, the, of the odd shape. Okay, So I'm going to show you how you do it. And it's really, really simple. The first thing you do is you get... Uh, you have to count up all the number of full squares. So in this case, we're looking for the water, the reservoir. So we're going to see how many boxes have a complete full box of water. So this box here is not fully complete because it's got a bit of land in it. This box here is not fully complete because it's got a bit of land here. This one here has got a bit of land and so on. Okay, This one here is even not full because right at the edge is a bit of land. So you have to add up all the boxes that are completely full of what you're looking for. So in this case, we're looking for the... The, the reservoir, so we look add up all the boxes that are full of water. So this is this one here, that's one, this one here, that's two, and this one here, that's three. Okay, so full is equal to three. Okay, um, and we'll say half full now, and then we're going to add up all the boxes that are half full. Okay, I'll do it on a different color, so half full. Okay, and that's equal to 1 here, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4, that's 5, and this one here is 6. Okay, so you've got three full boxes of the reservoir, of the water, um, of what we're actually looking for, and then the six half boxes, okay? So, all you have to do is, you actually add up all the full and the half full. So, we take, so 3 plus 6 equals 9 kilometers, and make sure you don't forget the squared. The squared is really important, um, and so it's a common mistake on the exam. So, that's it. You just add up all the full boxes and add up all the half full boxes. Now, some of you might be thinking... So basically, you just add up all the boxes that are more than half full, and that is correct, yes, okay? So, if you just want to count all the boxes that are more than half full, um, that that will give you 9 kilometers, and that we, your answer is 9 kilometers squared. So that's it for this uh, calculation of the areas, okay? So we've done like an even area, or an even shape, and then we've done an odd area, or an odd shape, okay? So really, really quickly, if it's an even area, you just add up all the, the width and the length, and you just multiply it, and that'll give you uh, your answer in kilometers squared. And if you're calculating an area of an odd shape, such as like a reservoir, or maybe a coniferous forest, or a deciduous forest, or maybe the built-up area, all you do is you add up all the boxes that are, are full, and all the boxes that are half full, add them together, and that'll give you your answer, and make sure you say it's in kilometers squared. So that's it on today's um, tutorial on calculations on, on maps. We did straight lines, how to calculate straight lines, how to calculate curved lines, how to calculate even shapes, and how to calculate odd shapes. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a question that comes up every year, this map question, so it's really, really important that you know it for your junior cert. It's a really easy question, too, once you practice them a few times, and... Um, you will see that they become very repetitive and they repeat each other over and over, okay? So it's just important that you know how to do these key skills, such as calculations and how to draw the map, which you can see from my other videos. And then what you have to do then is, when you know how to do the skills, just practice, practice, and that will, be, uh, that will make your map skills so much better and you can pick up full marks in your junior certificate examination or whatever examination you might be doing, maybe your summer or Christmas exam. If you liked my video, uh, can you please give me some feedback? Yeah, you can like the video on YouTube, you can write some comments. If you're unsure about anything, please can you leave, can you write messages in the comments? We can I can answer your questions or other YouTube uh, subscribers can answer your questions. Can you follow us on Twitter at examrevision for you and you can follow us on Instagram at examrevision for you.